what we worked on was just kind of, we did a flamingo drill, which actually, let me, let me jump out of here and I can show you guys what that drill is. It's awesome. a great drill that, let's stop that. Oops. Are we good? All right, we're good. Cool. So a flamingo drill would, well, I always start off with, what do you know about flamingos, Mandy? Well, I know that they have tall legs and they stand on one. Skinny legs. They stand Skinny on legs. one, right? Stand on one, did yep. You, did you know that they're only pink if they have krill in their diet? If they don't have know. krill, they're actually like an off, off white color. I didn't know one of my that. Fourth, one of my fourth graders told me that, so I wouldn't expect you to know that. Don't worry about it. Okay. But anyways, <laughs> so flamingo drill. Flamingo drill. We're going to get onto our lead foot, our left foot, or for right-handers, our right foot. And our back foot's going to be in line. Let me get this down a little bit lower here. We're gonna get right on our tippy toe of our back foot. Basically, it's putting all of the weight, 90% or so, on that lead foot, right? Kind of in this manner right here. Yep. Right. And just to start off with, we wanna just do some half swings just to feel the balance, right? Yep. And if we're feeling pretty good, we're gonna hit that same spot again. And then as we get better and more adventurous, we're gonna to start to make bigger swings. But notice how my pressure basically stays nice and centered here. If I had my V1 on right now, my mat on, it would show that the weight is basically staying centered on that lead foot. I'm not adding pressure into that backside, which is a big no-no. We don't like that. Mm -hmm. We don't like mm -hmm. to see that. So a good, nice balanced position on that lead foot. We got probably 80% there, 20% on the tippy toes. And we're trying to take pressure off of the tippy toes as we go through, staying nice and balanced there. Love it's it. a good one that we worked on with Chris a bunch, who is the student in the videos getting that um that lead foot a little bit more interacted a little more stable um that way there he could turn around it and get let's say more crisp contact with those wedges versus getting a little spooky mm -hmm. 